Hello to you on a cracking night here at the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Lee Dixon, and you can really sense the anticipation in the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway. It is Manchester United against Atletico Madrid. Well, thank you, Derek. Brilliant atmosphere here today. All that hard slog in pre-season, all aimed for this game. First game of the season, all that preparation is for this. It's for this 90 minutes. Focus on it, get the three points, move on to the next one. Looking forward to it. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea begins in goal. Victor Lindelof plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. And potentially a real handful in attack today, Edinson Cavani. This is the starting lineup for Atletico. Well, as a team, Lee, they love to apply almost suffocating pressure. Based on the lineup, do you expect the same approach today? Yeah, I think so, Derek. It makes it really difficult for the opponents to find their rhythm unless their touch is absolutely perfect. It forces mistakes, so I'd expect we'll be seeing plenty of that from them today. Torreira, Saúl, and Felipe with it. Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, the more you give this lad the ball, the better the team normally plays. He switches the ball, he links play from left to right, up and down the pitch. He keeps possession, a brilliant player. Well cleared away. Let's join Alan McAnally because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Bayern match. Alan? It's a goal for Bayern Munich. It's been scored by Thomas Muller. He picked the ball up on halfway, turned the closest defender and striding forward, beat the covering man for pace before hitting a low shot past the keeper. Nine minutes played, 1-1. One -one. Thanks, Alan. Saúl Marcos Llorente has it Well he's thwarted him almost effortlessly No space for them here He's in behind And he clears it out of harm's way Carrasco Potential danger here. Chance to cross. And Dombia with it. And lining it up. And Suarez is in there. Really good diving save. And firing it into the area. And simple for the keeper. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. I believe there's been a goal in the City game. Alan can fill us in. It's a goal for Liverpool. 25 minutes played. 1-0. Regular updates from... A it should be! And he's fired it against the post. 
Well, it was a decent effort. I thought he was in, to be honest with you, but not to be. Maybe next time. Oh, in with a chance. Can he convert? And there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back and he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. So back at action, and it's up to United now to be inventive. 21, There's been a goal in the Chelsea match, Alan McAnally with the details. It's a goal for Chelsea, 32 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Marcos Llorente. Lucas Torreira now. And the pass is for Luis Suarez. Torreira. Llorente. Opportunity. In it goes. Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Well, here it is again. And all the credit goes to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions about the keeper. He's got to have that covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Well, it's turning into a real shocker. This is the very reason, Derek, I'm not a manager. Well, a second goal for them here. Atletico Madrid, number 14, Marcus Llorente. Scott McTominay. I'm not to put too fine a point on it. They're in a wretched situation. What can they do to rectify this lead? United have to change things up. It's simply not working. Take a chance. A goal now could change things completely for the second half. If they don't change, I see no way back into this game. Encouraging stuff from United. Cavani with a slide rule pass. A goal! Just what they needed. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him, gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. So there we have it, 2-1. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. And so the second half underway, Atletico with the lead, but who knows, there might still be a few twists and turns in this game. Torreira. Carrasco. Shaw. Cavani. And news of a goal in the Bayern game, Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a second goal for Arsenal. Oh, big chance! Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Well, a fine first-half showing from Bruno Fernandes. Lee, what have you made of what he's put into the game? Atletico get the free-kick decision their way. He 
easy save for David De Gea. Carrasco and putting his body on the line. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Can they take advantage of the situation? He'll try his luck here. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. He could pick out a teammate. And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Getting news of a goal in the Chelsea game. Allen. It's a second goal. A real opening now. Carrasco. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Well, we're sorry for interrupting you there, Alan. To confirm, Chelsea did score in that match. And they're locked together in a thriller now at 2-2. Oh, a nice-looking pass. He's managed to get in behind. Magnificent stuff. And quite the comeback from two goals down. Well, as we see again here, the damage he started with a beauty of a through ball and he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Well, we all saw that equaliser coming, Derek, didn't we? And so did he. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Well, as the game has restarted, we're left to reflect on four goals. 2-2. Two -two. Number 17, Fred. Marcos Llorente. Savage. And Felipe with it. So 20 minutes to go. Savage now. And unable to keep possession. A oh, terrific pass. Bruno Fernandes! Good defending to prevent the chance. He's played it out over the touchline, so a throw-in to restart things. He has time to play it over. Cavani. Oh, there it is! Incredible! How about this for guts and courage? Can they see this out now? Well, let's look at this again. We've all hit these in training first time bang in the back of the net look at the calmness of it technique brilliant slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored here's a change for Manchester United What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, in the second half, trailing, albeit by a small margin. How should they be viewing this task, Lee? Well, how many times have we seen Atleti get late, late goals in a game? They won't give up, that's for sure. Piling on the pressure, surely they will get one more chance. Nice switch of play. Atletico Madrid, no, they're not going to get too many more chances. Time is a factor. Oh, good use of the ball. Textbook defending inside the box. Inside the final five minutes now. Fruitful looking attack. Can he finish them all? And you have to say, it was on the cards.
as we can see, right place at the right time. Striker's instinct is to be there or thereabouts. Keeper has no chance. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, his players have followed his every command and some. The coach must be delighted. United will switch things around personnel-wise. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Substitution for Manchester United coming off the pitch. Number 23, Alex Teller. To be replaced by number 27, Alex Teller. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, three minutes to be added on. Saul. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. And there goes the final whistle. Manchester United are the winners today anyway. Lee, what did you think of their performance all told? Yeah, good result to start the campaign. Always important to get off to a quick start. A few of them seemed a bit leggy towards the end, but overall it was a good performance and that will give them real confidence going into the next game. Well, a strong contribution as we've come to expect from Bruno Fernandes. Lee, interested to know what you made of his performance. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him. 